The one hole was through. They come through about, uh, they cut through 1,093 uh, feet, uh, about 415 is when they went through. The pipes were still on there. They did uh, what they're supposed to do, which is they banged on the pipes for about 15 minutes or so, and uh, they're pulling the case, they're pulling the pipes back out now from hole number one. The drilling went better on hole number one than anticipated. They got through quicker. Uh, we did not get any response back from, uh, if you will, the beating on the pipes and signaling. Uh, but that doesn't, you know, as I talked to the families, and the, uh, they, most of the families stayed all night. We just briefed them, and uh, they're resilient, as you know, and, and uh, they're still prayerful and very hopeful that uh, it's, we still have a, a miracle, maybe. We've done, we've done seismic tests throughout the country, but we have not rescued anybody with the use of the seismic equipment. Uh, this will be the well. We we hooked up the seismic equipment yesterday, and they're listening on the surface. But we have not put off the three shots. In other words, if there were miners in the refuge chamber, they would not know that we were doing this until they heard the three shots go off on the surface. But we have been monitoring it all all night long to see if there is any detection picked up. But the problem is with all this drilling going on in such such a close proximity that a lot of the noise we're hearing with those microphones naturally are going to be the drilling process that's actually going on. We need a quiet period where nothing is being uh, used, no equipment's being used, everything shuts down for a short period of time, put the three shots off, and then we'll watch the monitoring equipment, the seismic equipment, to see if anything is detected. The families are very appreciative. They, uh, and to everybody that's watching and listening, they, uh, they know the prayers, they know the good... Uh, the good wishes that are there for them, and, and the, uh, it, it's very heartwarming for them to know that America is praying for them. And I want to, to make sure that you all know how much we appreciate it. These are such strong people, such good people, and they're such a their faith in God and their faith in their families, and they're resilient. They're very strong. They had a long night. They know they're going to have another long day, but uh, but uh, they're prepared for that.